hi guys welcome back to civil engineering my name is Elvis I hope you are all fine today we'll be looking on development land and lapping land developing development land and lapping land in beams and columns guys before we begin do not forget to like this video please like this video for my motivation to share if you are also new, do not forget to subscribe and you hit the, the notification bell to always have the latest updates. Guys, let's continue. You can see, as you can see, this is a beam. Let me name them. This is, this one is a, a stirrup. Stirrup. This is a beam. This is a steel. Steel. This is a development land. What we are looking for. And this is a, a, a column. This is also a column. This is a beam. And these are stirrups also. These are stirrups. Guys, as you can see, this, why this, but, uh, why this is provided why because you know this is a beam and this is this is a beam and this is a, and this is a column that is going up and this is a beam that i've attached there at this point if you provided it if you provide your your steel that you do not provide any any development land here it means it cannot it, it means it cannot resist this load it can never resist this load so if you so if you provide if you just if your if your beam is like this and come and join at the, your column here that there is no development land this can never go guys this can never go you need to provide it like this this is this development land this is a steel rod you come here you bend it down and this one this is another steel when it comes here you bend it up so how does this work guys what is the need of providing this development land is provided in beams to reduce the chance of to reduce the chance of the beam coming out of a column Development land is provided in beams to reduce the chances of the beams coming out of the concrete column. So it, it reduces the chance of this beam. If you make it like this, it can easily separate here. Shear force can easily occur here. Yes. So, but when you provide it like this, so when you provide this development land, you hold this concrete, concrete will really hook it inside this column and it cannot easily come out so as you can see this is it i know uh, so to look for the formula formula for this i think i think the formula for this the formula for development land this is the formula for development land l d is equal to diameter of rod divided by stress no times stress divided by 4 t tbd whereas ld is stands for this i mean uh, this ld is stands for 
diameter of the rod. No, it this LED is it is done for length for the development length. This is development length. This is done for the diameter diameter of the rod. Diameter of steel. This is this one you are seeing. This is heat stress. This is equal to this is stress in bar. Stress in bar. And this C B D is stand for bone stress. So this development land the development land here yeah, it is provided to it is provided to it, it so when we so we provided it, this development land so that it should give a good bone or a good relationship or a good connection between column and beam. When we finish this, we go to lapping zone, to lapping length. This lapping length, the formula is lapping length, LL, it is equal to 50D, which D, D is equal to Diameter of steel. Diameter of steel. I hope you can see everything clear. So when we so so when you provided this here, this is lapping length. Lapping, and this also here. So here you are seeing. This is it. Lapping length. Lapping length. So when you provide it straight, it is not always good. When you provide it like this, you provide this one long and this one also long this way, it is always good. Hope you can see it clear. So this is the formula when you want to look for the formula to how you can the formula for the lapping length, it is 50D. Or 45 also. 45D can also go. LL equal to 40. 45D, it is also good. Which D is time for the diameter or still? It, where, of, of which D it is equal to the diameter of still. So you can see. And you have to, and when you provide this, these are stirrups. These stirrups, you have to, they have to be more close in this, in this lapping zone. You have to be close. So if you are spacing the normal stirrups here to be 15, 15 centimeters here, you have to provide it to be 10 centimeters. This portion of the lapping zone. And it, and this lapping zone, it is not always good to provide it in a, the middle of the beam because at the middle of the beam it is a, a, a bending moment it is it can easily occur at the center of your beam so it is not always good to provide this lapping length at the center of your beam so that is it guys so lapping length is provided to safely transfer the load this is provided in columns or this is provided in columns or pillars to safely transfer the load or to safely transfer the stress from one bar to another so because the you know the rod is not the steel rod is, is not long to the re, to the uh, uh, maybe you want to build a house that is maybe 10 meters height 
you cannot uh, have or uh, let me say 20 meters high you cannot see a rod that is 20 meters high so we need this lapping length we need this lapping length so that we can safely transfer our load from up to down so that we can easily transfer the load or the stress from one bar from this bar to another it is this can also be here so hope you can really enjoy this video guys do not forget to like this video you subscribe if you are new you share this video and you hit the notification bell to always have the latest updates guys thanks for watching and see you in my next videos